Hey guys, sorry for the really cruddy lighting, but welcome to day four of Vlogmas. So it is currently eight o'clock in the evening and you might be wondering why I'm starting this now. I woke up at six to open at work and it was a living, breathing nightmare. And we ran out of a certain type of fish and then we had like five cases of salmon come in and not the type of fish that I needed. So that's kind of how the day's been going all day. So I came home and I ate a ton of food and I passed out for like three hours. And I've basically just woken up and been hanging out and watching YouTube all day. I was told by one of my coworkers that at the very least we'll get some catfish in tomorrow because we sold all of it out and we have like nothing at work right now which super sucks because it's busy season and we need stuff in there so that's stressful. Anyway, I know that I told you guys that I was thinking about doing Vlogmas and then it's like I switched it to, well, I'm going to do an Instagram post and now I'm like within a three day period thinking that I'll just do Vlogmas, but then I'll just like condense all the Vlogmas days into chunks so that I'm not doing like a video every day. But then that way you guys still get like a timeline of what I'm reading and what I'm doing during the month of December. And uh, that's going to be on IGTV. So that way you guys can kind of keep up to date with me and watch my videos still. So that's the game plan for right now. I have some other content that I've actually filmed but I don't know if it's good enough for me to post. I did like a quick little flip through thingy of what I have together for my bullet journal which I'm changing the layout and I'm not really quite sure about it. I got it from a YouTuber and I actually really liked her layout so I thought I would give it a shot and I made like a hundred mistakes on the first one and then I had to like go and rip out the page because I made so many mistakes and it was just like this whole big traumatic experience because I'm really bad at spacing like d dots out and like my spatial awareness is really bad so like I'll try and like use rulers and stuff and I'll just have squares be all different kinds of sizes so it's hard for me to make a calendar is what I'm getting at but eventually I actually was able to make something that kind of resembled something good so I'm thinking about editing that video and putting it up even though it's like the whole spread isn't completely done yet just so that you guys can kind of see where I'm at as far as progress goes. And maybe what I'll actually do is I'll put some footage of that video into this video and just not make it like a separate video altogether and I'll just like incorporate it into this video, but we'll see. But anyway, I wanted to update you guys on my reading. I finished The Timekeeper by Mitch Album and that's on my Instagram right now. I have that under the highlight section on my stories and I give it four out of five stars. I thought it was really good. It was very, it was like a weird mix of like sci-fi and storybook. And I don't know if that's like even an accurate description because like the plot was so all over the place and there were so many different timelines and so much jumping around and so much imagination that went into it. I don't feel like it necessarily just hits on one genre. And so because of that, I'm like struggling to figure out how I would categorize it. But it was very good. I really enjoyed it. I liked the ending a ton. There were parts of it that were pretty disturbing that I was not expecting at all. So kudos to Mitch Album for that because I thought that all of his like writing and everything was going to be, you know, relatively mild and some of the stuff that he wrote in that book was not mild and it really shocked me. So <laughs> 
I'm hoping that I think that the next book that I want to read of his is going to be The Five People You Meet in Heaven. And I think they have that at the library, so maybe I can go and pick that up at some point. But anyway, I'm going through like a binge of his books right now. And I'm having a lot of fun reading his stuff. I think that I'm going to go and pick up A Silent Voice and read some more of that. And I'll update you guys in the morning. Okay, bye. Can you please get up so that I can change the sheets? Alright, come on. Up. There we go. Hey guys, so it is currently December 5th right now. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. So, I just kind of wanted to update you guys on like what's going on. I started reading Diary of a Hansla Girl, which is an Audible original, and I'm really enjoying it so far, but the narrator's accent is like really hard to decipher, and it's like so difficult because I like the story, and I like where it's going, but it's so hard to make out like certain words. Like, you know, when you're listening to an audiobook and you just kind of miss words sometimes, that's really where I'm at right now. So it's really frustrating because I am really enjoying it, but then every so often, like there'll be a sentence or an accent thing or something where I miss a word or like there's music blaring over the narrator and it's almost impossible to get the full sentence out of like what I'm listening to. So that's super frustrating, but I'm gonna push through it anyway. It's only like an hour and a half long, so I think it'll be easy to finish. And then I think I might move on to like another audiobook, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I want to continue reading all the books that I have going right now, which is Snowflower and the Secret Fan, which I've been writing forever, and then what else do I have going? Um, Sharp Objects, again, need to finish that, and a few other things. I'm still building a December TBR, so I really want to get through some stuff so that I can build a good TBR for the last month in 2019. I have work at 5.30, and hopefully we're going to get some catfish in. If not, then I know that there's going to be a huge issue with, like, the way that we're ordering things. And I'm still pretty, like, miffed about the fact that we literally have 60 pounds of salmon in our back fridge right now. And normally, you know, just for reference... Normally, we only have maybe two full cases, which would be like 20 pounds, and then we're working on like another case, which would probably be like, I don't know, like 10 pounds, but if it's half full, it would be like five pounds, and that's like at the most, the amount of salmon that we hold. Now we have like 60 pounds of salmon in the back room, and I don't know how on earth we're going to sell it all but then we have no catfish. So, <laughs> I really hope the catfish comes in today. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed because I don't know what I'm gonna do if we don't have any catfish and I don't know how I'm gonna explain that to customers. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. And if anything else interesting happens, I'll let you guys know. Okay, we're on our way to get lunch. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better now because for some reason it was like doing some really weird stuff in the reading room with like all the daylight and everything. So I hope it's a little bit better now. Let me show you guys what I'm eating. I burnt the ever living tar out of it, but it'll be good anyway. And then normally what I do is I put this smoked trout dip on it which is actually really good. It has like a pretty good source of protein. Whoop. 
although it does have a lot of fat, but it's really good and it gets me energized for my shift because I'm always running around on my shift. So I need that protein and I need the extra calories. It's currently three o'clock right now and I just went over and I cleaned the whole house and I put up Christmas decorations and I found some posters from like my early, early 20s, like back when I was in college and I had some really weird tastes and I guess I'm just going to show it to you. It's a poster of Hatsune Miku, which you can ignore like the scandally cladness. I thought that her face looked really pretty and I have these books down because like if I let go of them, that happens. And then underneath that, I have a Final Fantasy poster that I completely forgot about. And I want to put that up in my room as well, but I have to get rid of, like, all the curling. So that's going to be a project that I'm doing. So that's part of what's happening right now. The cat's wanting me to be fed. Or... <laughs> The cat's wanting me to be fed. The cat wants to be fed, is what I meant. But I wanted to show you guys my decorations. So we have like this light here and you put like the little ornaments in and it's really cute and pretty. But I have to be careful cause like these come out. So I have to make sure that like they don't fall out on the floor otherwise the cat might eat them. Here we have the, un the unicorn. The, the the reindeer and we always have him over here like all the time just because I don't really know where else to put him like technically I think he goes on the ground because of that stump thing that he has on him but I just I think that he looks prettier up here where I can actually see him and then over here I had no idea where to put this at all so I decided to just put it on the door for now but I think it's technically supposed to go up on a wall. So I might change that up. And if I do, then I'll let you guys know. He will do this until I feed him. And you guys might think that he gets tired, but he really doesn't. He'll just continue meowing like this for an hour and a half. It's incredible. Hey guys, sorry for the rough look, but I forgot to film an outro for yesterday's vlog. So, it's currently in the morning right now, and I'm super tired, and I didn't read any more of the Hanslow Girl, and I'm thinking about DNFing it, but I'm not sure yet. I might just, like, push through it, even though it's, like, really hard to understand, and the music's really loud. But I also downloaded another audiobook called Climbing with Molly. And I might actually go and start that one if Diary of a Hanslow Girl is too tedious for me to get through. <laughs> so that's kind of the game plan right now. And I'm going to end this vlog and I'm going to start a new one. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.